Welcome everyone to a demo of Nitra's Windows Live Mail API. An application programming interface is an interface that allows you to interact with an existing application. Since Microsoft doesn't provide any way to develop plugins for Windows Live Mail, our Windows Live Mail API is the only software development kit available for developing plugins inside Windows Live Mail. Our customers use Windows Live Mail in a wide range of applications like antivirus, anti-spam, anti-phishing, automatic encryption and compression of emails, attachment management, integration with web 2.0 sites, customer relationship management, backups and contact syn synchronization. The Live Mail API component supports GUI customization, folder and message management, MIME handling, and many other useful features. Now we are installing the Windows Live Mail API 1.0.1. You can request a trial of our Windows Live Mail API from our website. That you will receive a 30 day evaluation to test all the functionalities. In our included demo, you will receive our solutions in Visual C and Visual C. Sharp. But you could also build your own code from any COM supporting language like Java. Delphi and many others. Now that the Windows Live Mail API is installed, let's open up Windows Live Mail. The Windows Live Mail API agent.exe is a process set to run from Windows Startup to detect every time Windows Live Mail is launched. Here are the custom toolbars that are included in our demo. And here is the Windows Live Mail API agent. We here have a test account with some test emails to show you some of our features on our demo toolbar today. You could create a message that will bring you up the new message window. You could show current selections. You could show multiple current selections. It will show you the current folder ID, the current message ID, and selected messages IDs. Here we'll go to folder actions. You could show the message count, eight messages, which this ties into our eight messages here. You could create a subfolder, rename, or delete folder. Those are just some of our features on their folder actions. Let's go to message actions. You could see here are some message actions. You could open all the selected. You could show the ID. You could show attachments. This will show you the attachments that are in the message. You could save them to the disk. You can move, delete, delete permanently, mark as red, mark as unread, mark as unread, mark as red. And then you could also show bodies and here's just a simple email with the bodies but let's open up one with the attachments show bodies and here we have an email with 
the MIME format. You could clone and close the message. And uh, you could see here that we could change some of the fields, like for example, from, and we could give this another email and uh, save and close this, and we will get a replicated email with our change, which is right here. So here is the final result of the email change. Well, in this video, this just shows some functionalities of our LimeMail API. Thanks for watching the video and please don't hesitate to contact us directly. Thank you.